Taxi operators are willing to coexist with app-based transport service providers, but only on a level playing field. Here again is Andre Ko with the details. To say that the entry of app-based riding hailing transport services has affected the operations of local taxi companies may be an understatement. Many taxi operators are now suffering from lack of drivers who have shifted to app-based transport providers while also experiencing drops in revenues lost to the likes of Uber and Grab. Still, taxi operators are saying that they can coexist with the new type of transport provider. We can coexist, level playing field lang, equal regulation. Ang epekto sa amin, sabi ko nga kanina, as I mentioned earlier, hindi yung saan naubusan kami ng pasahero. Naubusan kami ng driver. Dahil yung mga driver namin, uh, kinukuha ng mga nagti-TNVs to, to drive their, their vehicle. Hindi naman nangyari dito yung mga nangyari sa ibang mansa, kagaya ng Europa o sa Amerika, na yung may-ari ng auto, eh siyang nagmamaneho ng sasakyan. Karamihan ng mga TNBs dito, bibili ng isang tao, maghahanap ng driver na magmamaneho para sa kanya. So, ganun yung nangyari. Parang, uh, parang taxi operation with less regulation. The taxi operators are also seeking an increase in flag down and distance rates, which they said have not been increased for years now. Yung pasahe namin, hinihiling namin na sana taasahan. Not for anything, kasi alam mo, ang taxi hindi naman mass transport, uh, hindi naman mass transport vehicle yan eh. Para rin kaming mga TNBs, di ba, auto rin lang naman yan eh. Eh, kagaya na banggit ko, ang pasahe, ang flag down rate, was the flag down rate noong 2004, 12 years ago. Ang succeeding rate namin na patak ng metro, 350. Ano yan, yan yung patak ng metro noong ano pa, noong 2010. Taxi operators are fighting an uphill battle against app-based transport services and should have find more innovative ways to adapt to the competition.